These politicians are hoping some of President Benigno Aquino's popularity rubs off on them. Aquino's approval ratings have been consistently high since he was elected on a promise of reform and good governance. Three years later, this is Team Pinoy, after Aquino's nickname. But most of these politicians weren't always in his corner. Senatorial candidate Cynthia Villar could have been first lady. Her husband ran against Aquino in 2010. It was a bitter campaign with the Villars calling into question Aquino's political track record, his mental capacity to lead, and even his psychological stability. As long as it's good for the country, it's okay. We're always for the welfare of the country. Team Pinoy's tagline is real honest people on the straight and narrow path. President Aquino's endorsement now of old rivals would make it seem as if differences have been put aside for the greater good. But such an alliance is being met with much skepticism. Personality always trumps platform in Philippine politics. There are no fixed allegiances or political parties. And getting elected usually comes down to connections. Many say it's one of the reasons the political culture is so open to corruption a problem President Aquino vowed to fix when he took office. It's a kind of a tricky act that he's playing right now. He's trying to get consensus among a group of uh, opportunistic politicians who are, necessi who are not, has not necessarily on board and will probably stab him at the back at the drop of a hat. What he'll do with this once he gets a consensus out of these midterm elections, that's, what you're, that's what's interesting. The optimists believe Aquino is trying to change the system from within, but any reforms his administration hopes to cement during the remainder of his term will depend on the unity of Team Pinoy, something that might be forgotten once the scramble for votes is over.